how much more comfortable are you starting to feel in the offense now that you've got a few games under your belt? Definitely, you know, starting in that second half, I started to really feel like I was fitting in and, and you know, the offense kind of started really flowing for me. And, and for us, I feel like, you know, in that first half there, were, I mean, there were some plays there for us to make, but, um, you know, some penalties, some missed opportunities. And, and, you know, it was just kind of, we were kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. But, yeah, no, I, I definitely feel like after, you know, having that bye week, having some time to, you know, gel together as, as a unit and then, you know, going out there and doing what we did there today, especially in the second half, was uh, was good. And I feel like we, you know, we still have a lot to build on. But um, I'm def I'm definitely feeling more comfortable in the system, and I, I hope the I believe the other guys are too. And you know, we'll we'll continue to improve and get better at it. You feel like the way you guys played in the second half kind of shows the potential you do have on offense now. Yeah, no, definitely. I I'm I believe we we the sky's the limit for us and. We could do so many things, and there's a lot of plays out there for us, and we just need to continue attacking and, and you know, making those plays. And then we did that in the second half. And, um, yeah, we got some incredible playmakers, a great O-line, and, and, you know, we, we showed up in the second half. We, we came in at halftime up big, but, you know, we still – we knew we hadn't played very well. I mean, a punt return and pick six. And offensively, we hadn't played very well. And we knew, you know, we were just – we were going to have to come out and make a statement, and we did exactly that. And – um, you know, I felt really good about what we did, but like I said, there's still so much to build on and, you know, it wasn't anywhere near perfect. And we, you know, we just keep building and keep working, working off of what we're, what we've been doing. And last one for me, how much does it help the offense when you get guys involved like Malik, Sebastian and, uh, and, and DJ as receivers? Oh yeah, a ton. I mean, th those guys are, are great playmakers, and you know, other than that, we you know, we have a, a ton of other guys. Those aren't the only guys that you listed. There's a, a bunch of guys that we that we got that that can make plays out there, and and that did today, um, and we'll continue to. And I think you know, having being a quarterback, having those kind of options are, you know, it, it's 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 fun. You know, it's a lot of fun to be able to, you know, pitch the ball around to the guys like that and have them make plays like like they have been and and like they like they did today. So. I'm excited to, you know, continue to work with those guys. Let's go next to John. Yeah, Will, what was it that really got you guys going in the second half offensively? What changed? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say there was really one thing that really changed. It was, you know, those penalties were, were kind of killing us. And, you know, we, we can't – we looked at the scoreboard and it was – and we had 60 yards of offense and 50 yards of penalties. You know, it, it would have been – Completely a different story, and we and, and you know we had some other opportunities. I missed a couple throws. We had some things not go our way, and you know when we came out in that second half, I feel like we, you know, we we came out saying you know this is it's it's go time. Like let's let's we switched our mindset. We said you know we we knew you know that we were up big, and that you know KU might not be the the toughest opponent, but um, you know, we kind of just said to ourselves, we got to, we got to play like we play, not play down to our competition. And, and, and we, we did that and we came out and just, you know, do, do what we know how to do. So it was good. For you personally, where would you say you made the most improvement in the last couple of weeks since we last saw you? Um, I mean, I still have a lot to improve on and I, I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near to where I want to be. Um, but, you know, I, I'd say definitely the chemistry with, with the guys and I feel like we had, you know, we we continue to get that over the bye week and you know throw them with the receivers and you know some guys you know see bass malik all those guys um we're continuing to make strides in that respect and you know kind of just you know them knowing that you know i'm the guy now but you know it, it you know it, it takes a lot to to kind of get that chemistry going and i feel like that that time that we had helped a lot and um you know we'll continue to make strides and it it, it hasn't been perfect but um, we know, you know, we know, we, we, we know what we need to do to continue to work and continue to get better. So we'll, we'll just continue to grind and, and move on to West V. Appreciate it. Will. Yep. Fitz. Well, I say Philip Brooks, you say what? Incredible. <laughs> I mean, Having a guy like that make plays like that, I mean, that makes my job easy. I mean, yeah. like I said, we – in our offense didn't, you know, produce a lot of points in that first half. But, hey, you know, pick six and two punt returns, that 
that's big time. That that you know definitely gives a team a lot of energy. And shoot, I mean, uh, he played amazing. The guys around him, you know, made some key blocks. Brock Monty made a couple of key blocks for him. Um, and you know, he he did what he does, and he's an incredible athlete and incredible player. And um, he 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 made some plays out there today, and it was fun to watch. A little odd to go into the halftime locker room with that kind of lead, and yet. You as an offense, collectively, you're not very happy about how the game's going. Yeah, no, definitely. We, you know, that was the thing. We we knew we we couldn't get down on ourselves because we had such a lead. But at the same time, we knew that we weren't playing to our full potential. And we were, and it, like I said, there were there were a lot of plays that we made or plays that were out in front of us that, you know, you know, we had penalties on. You know, we found ourselves in, I think, our first two drives, it was like second and forever. So, and, and third and forever. So, you know, we can't be putting ourselves in situations like that, and we know that. And we, we fix it in the second half, and, you know, hopefully we'll continue to, to fix it and, and know what we need to work on and come out and, uh, you know, be ready from the, from the, first, from the first snap and, and uh, take it to them, you know, fr from the beginning next week. Thank you. Yep. Last one here, Mitchell. Hey, Will, as a guy from Downington, Pennsylvania, from the East Coast, not maybe not knowing as much about the Sunflower Showdown, you come here in your first Sunflower Showdown. Did it live up to the emotional hype that you were expecting? I mean, definitely. There, um, you can tell just with the, with the kids from Kansas on this team and the passion they brought, you know, Coach Kleiman let them talk, you know, in, in, the, in the huddle um, or in the meeting on Monday, and he let them, you know, lead us out of the tunnel and, there was just, you could just tell there was so much passion today in the video they played this morning for us. There was so much passion from their part. And, you know, obviously I, I didn't grow up a K state or KU fan. I don't really understand the, you know, the rivalry there, but at the same time, you know, I'm a, I'm a K stater. I'm, I, you know, this is what, this is what I am now. And, and I understand it. And I've, and they, you know, kind of preached that. And I, and I was just, I, I was doing it for those guys. You know, I was, I saw the passion that they had for this game and that this, this fan base, this community had for this game and, and it's, it's inspiring. And I was, uh, you know, blessed to be a part of it. And um, yeah, there was definitely some, some passion out there and uh, it was a lot of fun to be, you know, be a part of a game like that. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed it and, you know, can't wait to uh, keep going with this thing. I think every week is an opportunity for a football team to show what they're about to the rest of college football. So after today, what kind of message do you think that K-State sent to the rest of college football? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're just we're, we, we like to look at things one week at a time and, and kind of stay in our, you know, you know, stay in our in, inside ourselves, inside our bubble. We try not to look at the big picture. But at the same time, you know, this was and we said it on Friday. This is a statement game for us. You know, let's go out there and let the country know what we're all about. You know, we're not, we're no nonsense. We're, we're not going to let anything, you know, taper us or, you know, take us off of our goals. And, um, you know, even though it was a rivalry game, we still had to do our job and not let the, not let the tempers fly. And we, I thought we did a great job with that, especially in the second half, we, you know, took care of business and, uh, you know, got some guys in there that, um, you know, some younger guys in there and, and it was a lot of fun to see. And, uh, you know, it was just fun. It was a lot of fun flying around guys, you know, enjoying themselves, having fun. So, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun.